<laughs> Hi, I'm Molly Nora. I'm a sophomore from Lincoln Southwest. Stop! Now And this is my poem, My Dad is Secretly a Teenage Girl. <laughs> I'm not one for conspiracies, but when it comes to my dad, the questions just pile up. Let me introduce you. He's weird and funny and obsessive and smart and my best friend, but lately he's been off. I get that being 50 years old is not a milestone many wish to come upon, but this, my friends, is serious. He started exercising. <laughs> this is where our paths diverge. I like Sunday book reads, he likes Sunday bike rides. I mean, who, out of their own free will, wakes up one day and decides they want to go on a run? No one. Don't get me wrong. I am judging him, but I'm also supporting him. Who else will sit on the sidelines of road races, holding badly photoshopped pictures of his head on Channing Tatum's body? <laughs> My dad and I are similar in the most basic of ways. At heart, we are both teenage girls. But more than that, I understand that this situation is in a sense backwards. By definition, we are an oxymoron. It should be me. By pure demographic, I should be the one in the mirror telling myself I am not beautiful. I should not look up to see the person I look up to slowly drowning in the unsaid judgments of his peers. I should not look up to see my idol running on the treadmill one more mile because he couldn't run the last mile in his first marathon. As a society, we have... As a society, we don't see that our obsession with being physically healthy has affected our mental health more than anything instead of losing the love handles for the perfect beach bod. We've gained inaccurate complexes on what it looks like to be beautiful. Skinny is not always healthy. Fat is not always unhealthy. Muscles are not always reserved for masculinity the same way that a Kim K bod is not always indi indic indicative of femininity and confidence is not always a way to compensate for your shape. For once, can we look at a confident human being and not read between the lines? They're not covering anything up. They're just happy. Earlier in this poem, I claimed I should be the one tearing myself down. Not my dad struggling with his own body image issues, but I was wrong. You see, the truth is no one should wake up one day and look in the mirror and decide they need to change themselves based on what healthy looks like. No one is too tall, too dark, too short, too light, too thick, too thin, too masculine, too feminine, too young or too old to be beautiful. Beauty is in the eye of the beholders and being the beholders we need to understand that this is not just a problem that affects teenage girls. It is as widespread as the chicken pox. You may not be infected, but you are certainly affected. We have overlooked the symptoms of everyone else by focusing our energy on empowering the women, the empowering young women, and now we have a long path of curing the flawed mentality of a perfect body image because I know for a fact that my dad isn't the only secret teenage girl out there.